Wait a little, wait. I'm gonna bring my photo, this photo, yeah. So in this video, I will try to tell you about the thoughts that I had behind making this photo, how I thought about taking it and editing it mostly, editing it actually. So this photo, I don't normally do this, but I should do it more often to think about what I wanna take and how to edit it. Because as a beginner, you start just taking random photos and hoping that they end up nicely. You apply filters and stuff and hope that you end up with a professional result. But that's not how you end up with, with professional results. To end up with professional, professional results, you have to think about what you are doing and do things because you know that they will lead you towards a professional result. So that's what I will try to show in this video. Let's start. Let me first put the photo here on the table and show you what I did and the thoughts behind it and then go to Lightroom and do those edits from the beginning again. So once I took this photo from the beginning, I know that I want these two lines to lead to the middle where the person is gonna go. And I waited until the person has passed from this opening. And to emphasize that with editing, I made this line bright and this line bright, and I darkened these two sides. Uh, yeah, decreased the exposure here and here. And here I tried to emphasize that there is a line going. I also add some brightness here so the line, can, the eye can follow it until it lands here. Some uh, brightness and contrast here on the road. So the mind when it sees this photo uh, will follow this line and this line and land here. And also I wanted the person to be more visible so I um, yeah, darkened his background with controlling the colors and made him brighter a little bit with increasing, I think, the red and or the orange to make his skin brighter and make him vi more visible than the background that he's in. So yeah, that's what I did. And uh, let's now go to Lightroom and remake this photo from scratch. All right, now we are in Lightroom and this is the photo as I have it at the end. Let's now restore it to yeah, reset to the beginning. Oof. <laughs> so as you can see, at the, yeah, at a crop at the beginning, I made a crop to have the right orientation. And then I made it black and white. And now we see it needs more contrast and it's coming there. Uh, what I said is that I darkened the sides so we have a focus on the middle, so this is darkening this side, we don't need to see it. And maybe as well I should have done it in the same mask, but it's not a problem. We can do multiple masks. They are for free, so we can make more. Yeah, it's coming there, nice. Then this is a brush, we can do it. Oh, no, this will make it visible. So just a vis brush, bigger one. Yeah, small a bit this flow in the middle and the way. Increase the brightness, contrast, maybe some clarity. Yes, it is popping. Now you can see there is some kind of line leading me there. Okay, what did I do also? From the top here I said I did some brightness like this to mimic the line that should take me there. Mm. Don't go crazy, just a little bit brightness. Why is nothing showing? Yeah. Now we can see something. Just a little bit like this, okay. And then in the background, we can see the guy here. The background, if we look at the original photo, it had some like a blue color, bluish. This is orange, this is bluish. So if we go down to the black and white here mix, we take down the blue, yeah. We see that his background now is darker, which is nice. Now we can see him more. Let's zoom in. And if we increase orange, oh, too much. Red, now his face is brighter. We made other parts of the image brighter, but that's okay. We can. Reduce it later if we want. 
Maybe the whole image we can take it down a notch. Yeah. So yeah, this is what I hope to show you is that when you have when you know what you have to do to achieve the results that you want or you have an image of what you want to achieve it is easier to achieve that and of course you need to understand what the edits you can make in the tool will do to the photo and yeah then you end up with a professional photo as i said i don't always have it like this but it's nice when it when it happens <laughs> So I hope you liked this video and let me know if this was helpful and if you want to see more, yeah, let me know. Thank you.